Welcome back to Falcons franchise. We're five and six, and today taking on the New York Jets in week 13. Five and six is at a very interesting spot. You can see in the division standings in the bottom right, three teams in the NFC South are five and six. So this is a really, really big week to see who's going to go ahead momentarily. And then week 14, playing the Bucks. Week 15, playing the nine and two Panthers, who could even be at 10 or 11 wins by that point. So we got to do our best here to get in position to win this division. It's not over yet. It is still possible for us to win the division here in year one, which would be incredible, obviously. I've made a slight change to the sliders. Everything is on 50, except for fatigue, minimum player speed threshold, and injuries. I think is default at 25. I think I turned it down to 20. Fatigue is up from 70 to 77, and minimum speed or minimum player speed threshold is going down from 40 to 35, which should make the fast players feel a little bit faster. I know zero is typically what we end up getting to. I'm just not doing that yet. We're just going to continue to uh, see how it goes. But we are currently, believe it or not, in the playoff picture in the NFC. And we're not even the lowest seed. We are currently the projected sixth seed, and the Seahawks who probably are five and six as well, are projected to get the seven. There's a lot that's going to happen within these final weeks. And we got to start off by beating what could be a very talented team in the New York Jets with Aaron Rodgers and a very good defense. So huge day on the ground for you in that last win. We have Bijan Robinson. That's kind of how that goes. Those guys up front really went to work and you have to be proud of the way they performed. And yeah, obviously they play a huge part in what we're able to do and where they go. We follow. If they keep building chemistry and playing at this level, the sky is the limit for everybody up front. So the amount of rushing yards that we get in this game against the Jets will determine how much XP each offensive lineman earns. So we're playing a very talented defensive line. And maybe that's more so from a pass rush standpoint, but a very talented defensive line nonetheless. Quinn and Williams might have that really strong ability is it called inside stuff i'm not sure if he has it but he might he actually has an open ability slot i don't know if i can give him one i'm not going to F fuck him i'll <laughs> let the cpu do it if they want i'm not gonna help the other team get better against me not gonna do that but yeah quinn williams is great tj mosley is still decent enough Quan Jones is a decent player. Solomon Thomas, former top five pick. And then they have Carl Lawson, the rookie Will McDonald, who could end up being a very good player. And then John Franklin Myers, who's awesome. Jermaine Johnson. It looks like they actually made a couple of cuts on the defensive line here. Frank Clark listed it right outside linebacker. And so they picked him up. Obviously not a fit for them. Where is Michael Clemens? Evidently did not make the team. How are we going to stop Aaron Rodgers? Jets average over 28 points per game. I guess we'll try to defend the medium pass. That's not going to work. And then defensively, what do we want to do to combat the Jets defense? Blitz counter is never the move for me. I don't like that one. I like the idea. I think throwing it deep is usually pretty good. We're going to start with run outside. We can always make adjustments in the second half of the game get some of these mini games done i keep seeing you guys tweet at me link is in the description twitter.com or x whatever the whatever it is now uh and you guys say you can get dev trade upgrades in practice i keep practicing i don't see any dev trade upgrades i'm waiting on it believe me i would like it to happen but it, it has not up to this point also for trench battle i kept getting comments about how i was just bad at tackling I promise you I tried every which way to tackle somebody. And today, in an update, they fixed this drill because it was broken. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I think it was some type of glitch where maybe, like, linebackers really struggled to tackle the quarterback. But yeah, I, I knew it wasn't me because I've played the game before. I know how to tackle somebody. And all I kept hearing about was... Oh boy, Bagel, you just gotta use hit stick. You gotta decelerate and then spam X button. I tried everything. Everything. Now, the worst part about this getting patched, because it was broken and not me, if I didn't mention that, because it wasn't me, the worst part about it is it was a great source of comedy within these videos. You guys would laugh out loud, XD in the comments, 
and now they've taken that away from me. So, gotta find a new angle. I also keep getting a ton of comments about using my staff points. I have been choosing not to at this point. I think maybe that I mentioned that, but maybe I didn't, so we'll go over it briefly. I don't want to get, you know, too good too fast. Some of these are really overpowered, and, you know, in order to get an additional focus player through weekly strategy, you gotta unlock a bunch of other things first. Now, these aren't super overpowered, but some of them really start to be, so I'm taking it a bit slow, and by that I mean as slow as you possibly could be. I haven't used any yet. Not saying I won't at any point, but not right now. I am trying not to abuse the system. So, here we go. Giant Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey, formerly. Of course, MetLife bought the rights and the Jets are like, it's ours now. They've shared it for a while, whatever. But there is Dalvin Cook. Made sure to add him to that Jets roster. As soon as that move happened at the start of this series, it happened, I think, while we were still in preseason, so it was, you know, a perfect time to do that. The worst part, though, about starting the franchise series before week one of the actual NFL season, and it's not like I can wait, because you guys would miss out on, like, what, you know, 13, 14 episodes before you get to week one. It's just not a feasible thing for me to do. But the worst part about starting a little bit early is the fact that you don't get the actual week one rosters. So, I mean, I'd bet pretty much anything, just for example, that Michael Clemens is going to be on the Jets' final 53, man. And um, we didn't see him at defensive tackle or defensive end or anywhere. But here we go. Jets starting off with the momentum here in New Jersey. You know, I don't know that I've played at MetLife for a Jets game. Obviously, I had Giants franchise, so I'm so used to seeing MetLife, you know, decked out in blue. But I don't know if I've seen the Jets. Because, I, I mean, the Giants never really play the Jets except for in the preseason. And even when, you know, you would, you wouldn't see the stadium looking like this. I don't know when the last time that I've played the Jets in New Jersey in a franchise series. I feel like it's been a while. I would have to go back to Dolphins franchise probably, which was a long time ago at this point. That might have been Madden 20. Aaron Rodgers' numbers, by the way, were absolutely obscene. But 26 or 28 touchdowns, three picks at this point of the year. I mean, just absolutely absurd. He's going to dice us up today. It's going to be very sad. Got to get after him. Get pressure on Aaron Rodgers. And I don't actually think that's going to matter. Corey Davis, who retired in real life at the age of 28, I believe, is on the field, catching balls from Aaron Rodgers, goes for 17, spikes it through the legs of Jesse Bates. Where's the flag? Can we get a call, please? These 1990s throwback Falcons uniforms are so good. These away uniforms especially, I really, really do like. Look at Troy Anderson wrapping up Dalvin Cook. That's a really nice tackle, one-on-one. -on -one. I kind of expect Dalvin Cook to break a tackle in that spot. Didn't end up happening, thankfully. And it's second and eight. We play zone coverage against Rodgers. I don't think that man is going to work. I don't think that zone's going to work. I don't think really anything's going to work today. I think we are just going to have to eat one today. I mean, we're going to get absolutely smashed. Third and seven. Oh, wow. I mean, like, how do you cover that? <laughs> how do you cover that, dude? He just ripped a bullet past Troy Anderson trying to cover the route underneath. I mean, Jesse Bates was never going to get close to that because he's Jesse Bates and he sucks in this game. I mean, we can try man. We can try pressing, playing physical at the line. I just don't, I don't know that there's an answer. And look at Jeff Okuda with the great defense on the outside. First incompletion for Aaron Rodgers. Maybe that is the way to do it. Get you know, A.J. Terrell traveling with Garrett Wilson as Deji gets onto the field. That's a rarity. Play action. Throw over the middle and incompletion forced. Nice defense from Caden Ellis. Third and time. But yeah, I think it's going to be maybe man coverage. Get up in their face. Get A.J. Terrell to take Garrett Wilson out of the game as much as he can. As I say that, I mean, we have Mike Hughes against Garrett Wilson. I don't, I don't know how that, I don't know how I line it up to be, hey, 
match up with the receiver based on the depth chart, and all of a sudden they do it for a play, and then you go, eh, I'm bored of that. And then Garrett Wilson touchdown. I'm not sure if AJ Terrell's covering him, if that's not a touchdown. The coverage was pretty good for Mike Hughes, to be honest, but uh, they didn't do what I said to do, which is annoying. Garrett Wilson finds the end zone, Jets up top early. Nothing like opening up at an empty to start the game. We want to run the football. Look, I saw that safety come up. Also, Drake London, who we're going to throw to crazily, was supposed to run a slant there and just got bored halfway through the route. Those are some of the things that anger me about this game that I would be completely ripped apart for, for no reason. He's supposed to run a slant, just stops going, just stops. And I know it's like maybe, well, you're supposed to hit a slant on the break or whatever. It's not supposed to be a route that gets run across the field. If it, don't show me the play art running across the field then. If I, if I call a drag, and you're supposed to hit the drag, obviously, you know, probably within the first five overall steps. Just because I don't doesn't mean I want him to stop moving, go, oh, I don't know what to do now. Whatever. Kyle Pitts, can't get it to him. Give me the slant there, Cordero Patterson! Thought we could have found the end zone on that one, to be honest. I thought we were going to find a crease with Cordero. Not bad, though. 25-yard pickup. Saw Julio kind of getting open over the top. But... Ooh, I mean... We were already throwing the ball there. If we waited a second more and just went to Julio, the DBs are flat-footed, and that is a touchdown. That's unfortunate. It's just, it's just an extra second. I don't really want to hold the ball for an extra second, though. We'll take 25. We'll be happy about it. For Daryl Patterson working back into the backfield... We're getting a lot of different looks now with our uh, with our backs. Algier's going to play more. Cordero Patterson's going to play more as a running back. Still going to feature Bijan. Obviously, he's been incredible this year. But we're just getting more of a true rotation going on now. And we are going to run the ball on third and three. Try to get this to the outside. And then meet the safety. Oh my goodness, what a tackle. Bijan couldn't even get a yard. That's not Julian Love. How is he on the Jets? Signed with the Seahawks in the offseason, former Giant. And now is he missed New Jersey so much, he has signed a contract to go play for the Jets. Maybe he didn't make the Jets team. Or the Seahawks team. Maybe the Seahawks traded him to the Jets. I'm not really sure. As we'll throw to Bijan, get four. Run to the outside. We got a block from Janu Smith there. Cordero gets four. Gonna run a trap here, try to bait Quinn and Williams. And we picked him up on the backside. Bijan Robinson with a stiff arm. Gets the first down, but can't find much more. Second down and 10. That's a touchdown. Get it over him! No! What a play! Nearly a touchdown. Ball needed a little bit more air underneath it. But that's a phenomenal defensive play. I mean, look at that turn from the slot corner. Who is that? Bryce Hall. Wow. Yeah, I think that has to be six. Brutal. We honestly could just target Sauce Gardner here. One-on-one -on -one against Kyle Pitts. No, we're going to throw over the middle. Find it! Fit it in! First down, Drake London. Oh my goodness. That was a scary throw. A scary decision. Under pressure, delivers a strike. Safety bearing down on him. Drake London just goes out, plucks it, and gets down. Drake London against not Sauce Gardner? We are going to throw the ball on first down. Go up and get it. Drake London cannot bring it in. It's Dwayne Crookshank again. Or Dane Crookshank. Excuse me, Dane. Dane, not Dwayne. I said it, I'm like, that's not right. But it's close. And B. John Robinson close to the end zone. Punches it in. We are tied up in New Jersey. Bijan's a touchdown machine. That was a pretty good drive. It wasn't exactly perfect, but not the worst. Not the worst. Just uh, good blocking up front. I mean, you had, you had a linebacker, Quincy Williams, taking on Jake Matthews one-on-one. -on -one. That should be a matchup we win every time. And uh, we did. Got a big lane for Bijan to run through. And that's what our offense is defined by. Can we run the ball? Can we punch it? 
in when we need to and the answer honestly has been yes a lot of the time this year end of the first quarter pretty even game so far we've had a few more plays than the jets they've only ran the ball twice that was their second run there and i i guess you don't really have to when you have aaron Rodgers and a pretty decent receiving core all things considered but i just don't know how we're going to stop them if they want to throw the ball all game i don't really know what we can do against it like tyler conklin is going to look like travis kelsey garrett wilson's just really good Corey davis is going to play well I haven't really seen too much of hardman which is a good thing and there he is underneath Caden ellis cannot jar the ball loose garrett wilson hands like a steel trap how did he catch that i got a theory and it begins and ends with all Madden difficulty. That's an insane catch. And no one covered the middle of the field. It didn't seem to matter. He heard footsteps, put the ball on the ground. How did he not catch that? I don't know. I guess now we're even, right? Third and six. Trying to send heat. Troy Anderson got a really late start. Rodgers under pressure going down. Caden Ellis continuing his all-pro type season with a big third down play to set the Jets back. Came in basically unblocked. Maybe Joe Tippman trying to cover him or trying to block him for a minute didn't end up happening. And we will force the Jets to punt, which is not something I really expected to do a whole lot coming into this game. And now with a good drive here, we are set up to take the lead. So let's do that. Got yeah, great return. Gonna run the ball here. This is, I, maybe I'm not reading that particularly well. We average like negative six yards per play call on that particular run. Not really a good one. Maybe you should retire that. J.J. Arthega, white side on the field. Got cut by the Falcons in real life, I believe. And we're going to get sacked. Ritter using the speed. Turn up field. Desmond Ritter gets a block from white side. Desmond Ritter takes off for 17. I thought for sure we were going down to the backfield. Ritter just fast enough to make that a big play. Give Bijan a run. We got some blocks there. Tried to truck through, get six. Oh, we're getting blitz heavy. We're just going to dunk it down and hope Johnny Smith can pick up a big uh, play. That's huge. Huge play. Obviously, it's not like 30 or 40 yards down the field, right? But what it is, is a massive conversion. And... Gives us a fresh set of downs. We've been passing the ball a lot in this one when our goal coming in was kind of established the run a little bit. But it's been working, you know, mainly not from consistency, but because of establishing the big play. We've been going down the field a little bit and just kind of picking up, uh, picking up chunk yardage when we can. And that's been good for us so far. <sighs> Couldn't make it happen there, third and 20. John Franklin Myers sets us back a bit. I mean, third and 25 is just, I mean, it feels like an impossible spot. We'll see if we can do anything here. And it's just going to be giving Kyle Pitts a shot down the field, and he can't make the catch. I don't know how that got away from us. I don't think we were running the ball enough. I think that's true. First down, probably just have to run the ball in, in that situation, I would say. And uh, we kept trying to get too cute, pass the ball. Got too addicted to the big play. Got to get back down to running the damn football. Okay, Nellis on the blitz, trying to get to Rodgers. Good pressure. And then Jeff Okuda backing it up on the other end with a nice defensive play of his own. Knocking that football loose. Third and three with three minutes and 33 seconds. 33 seconds were on the play clock. Be crazy if we were also on the 33-yard line, but it's not true. Garrett Wilson trying to go 33 himself. That's tackled. <laughs> Garrett Wilson now three catches for 35 yards. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Oh, no. What is that angle from Richie Grant? I just don't know why he would take a shallow angle to Tyler Conklin when you, like, already don't have the, the correct angle on him. You know what I mean? Like, up here... He's turning up the field. You're not making a play on the ball. Wrap around. And he just runs this so flat. Like, why are you running at Tyler Conklin at this point? 
when he has so much space. You see the way this, the CPU takes him down towards the 40? Get up the field. That's ah, going to be a nice play. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, the classic. Oh, man, I was about to give up a big play. He dropped it. Let's go. Like, come on, dude. These DBs never change. Madden's super realistic, obviously. <laughs> That's a classic DB move. Oh, I was about to be a big reason we lost 30 yards. <laughs> but he dropped it. Oh, let's go. Lockdown. Not in my house. No fly zone. It's third and ten. Just over two minutes to play here in the second quarter. Rogers looking for time. We'll just throw it away. Arm punt probably would have been the right call there if you could have found, you know, some type of space to make a big throw down the field. Just get it up there. If they intercept it, whatever. If it's incomplete, guess what? You're in the same spot anyway. That's what I've talked about before with third down, like confusing throwaways. You don't want to just throw interceptions for fun, right? And Aaron Rodgers, I think, is someone who's concerned with that turnover number. But just launch the ball up, give somebody a chance, and he didn't do it. And I'm grateful for it because we now have a chance on offense. Two-minute drill. And as I said, we're going to try to get Bijan Robinson the ball a little bit. And it's usually not a bad idea. Eight yards picked up, and we might just run the ball again. I don't know what they're doing on the outside. Coach is almost on the field. Sauce Gardner is almost on the sideline. And we're going to run the ball completely away from them. There's Bijan. Broken tackle. Stiff arm. Bijan still going. Bijan with the contact balance to turn it into a huge play. That's what you get with Bijan Robinson. How many broken tackles did he have on that play? Let's take another look at this. There's two. Make that a third. That's probably a fourth and finally wrestled down. That's a fantastic play. And we've only burned about 12 seconds off the clock here. A minute and a half now after the runoff. And we'll see who wants to get open. Held on to it too long, probably. Second down and 10. I keep targeting John U. Smith and it's worked out this time. He steps out of bounds, stopping the clock. A minute and 23 to play. I like Jonu Smith. I know you guys are like, why Why does Jonu get more targets than Kyle Pitts? Not, you know, the past couple of weeks, of course, but I just think he's a really nice addition to our offense. Now, I don't know why Kyle Pitts would be in line and Jonu Smith would be playing up on the line as a receiver. Guess we might be a little bit uh, gassed out here. Get it to Julio. Kind of just ran into Drake London. Ah. Like, that had such potential, but the two receivers just ended up on top of each other, and there was nothing there. And I think it's because Drake London just stopped moving. And this is, again, something I complained about earlier on the slant. Run this to the end zone. I, like, don't turn around looking for the ball here. Run them down the field. Because guess what? If Drake London continues this towards this back pylon, guess who's wide open? Safety's going to have to turn around, try to make a play. Ball's about to be thrown here this is a probable touchdown if drake london can just run this cornerback down the tunnel second down and 10 get it to kyle pitts he had a step there kyle pitts still on his feet finally tripped up that's a really nice play again we've had some awesome plays on offense in this one this is going to be a real shame if we uh can't end up scoring 45 seconds to play they're doubling drake london we're just going to check down, hope Bijan can make somebody miss. And couldn't really do it. We're going to call our first time out. Kind of get situated here. Second and ten. Patterson left open. Big catch. No, he drops it. Would have been another first down. Seems like every time we throw the ball, it's a first down. Yet, we're Daryl Patterson. Unfortunately, could not catch that one. I don't think that was a particularly challenging catch either. A little bit unfortunate there for sure. Kyle Pitts is open. Kyle Pitts is open. Sauce Gardner completely left him. And Drake London, uh, he, he gets so much attention that we got the one-on-one. -on -one. Ritter, all he had to do was make the throw. Desmond Ritter just completely airmails Kyle Pitts. We had the matchup. I'm okay with going one-on-one -on -one at Sauce Gardner when it's Kyle Pitts. I really am. 
especially the way he played that last snap. I mean, it, it really letting me know that we are capable of, of taking advantage of that the whole game, but we only get three points, just left six on the board. I mean, that's the easiest touchdown in your life if you're Desmond Ritter, and it was not to be. Oh, are you joking? Corey Davis, how is that ball even completed? They weren't letting me pause it for a second. What is that? We're obviously trying to get after Rodgers. <laughs> I mean, one, how does he sneak through? Switch on with Jesse Bates, press A to tackle him. Wouldn't tackle him. Timing on that looked real bad, but will not accept responsibility for that. There's Okuda. Man, he's having a nice game, isn't he? Checking down, Caden Ellis all over it. Only one timeout remaining here for the Jets. I like where Jesse Bates is, but if they try something over the top, we're going to be in trouble. Oh, man. Rodgers. So generous. Tried to gift a fan with a ball. Didn't quite make it there. And they are going to try a field goal. Fourth and eight. It's kind of a long one. Basically from the middle of the logo here. Kick is up. Had the leg, but not the accuracy. Oh my goodness, from the middle of the logo, from basically the 50-yard line, nearly drills it. Salah can't believe it, and we now have five seconds. I don't want to call a Hail Mary here. I'd rather try to do something that gets out of bounds really quickly. And, and even, maybe not, we have a timeout. Just don't know if Drake London's going to be able to get down in time. I'm hoping Bijan's just going to get open. That's exactly what happened. We have one second on the clock. Eight yards on the pickup. I think that puts us in a field goal range. Young Wei Koo from 60. Win slightly against him. We're going to give him a shot. Here's the kick. It is up. On a line. Off the crossbar. No good. That was absolutely our best chance to get points before the half. The Hail Mary was never going to work. I thought we did a really good job to get in position. Unfortunately, Young Wake, who just didn't have the leg. Just slightly short. We'll go to half number two. All right, we get the football to start. We've held the Jets to just seven points. That's a huge win for me at this point. You know, I think our offense has left some points on the table for sure. But our defense has played really well. Now, we have been abused by Rodgers a little bit in the intermediate areas of the field. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with how uh, how well we've played. And we're going to try to continue that here into the third quarter in the fourth, obviously. And we'll start with a trap. Go right up the middle. Busted to the outside. Bijan Robinson turning the corner. Bijan with a broken tackle. CJ Mosley grabs him down. But it's a massive play for our top 10 pick. Bijan Robinson. Going to have a big second half, evidently. Got to the outside. Great block from Drake London. And then Bijan with the speed to turn the corner. He was breaking a tackle there at the end as well. If only CJ Mosley was a little bit slower. I think Bijan probably goes to the house. Massive play regardless. And he's going to need a breather after that. I think we're going to get Cordero Patterson a run in here. We got blocks. Cordero, second level. Juke back to the inside. Cordero to the outside again, and it's a touchdown. That's why you want to get the football in his hands. Cordero Patterson, one of the shiftiest players in the league. It's why he's one of the best return men in NFL history. It sounds crazy to say that. Every time I say that, it just seems crazy because you just wouldn't think of Cordero Patterson as you know, the league's all-time greatest return man. It, it, you know, you instantly go to Devin Hester, and then you look at return touchdowns, you see where Cordero Patterson is on the list, and you go, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this guy is one of the best, if not the best of all time. He is a four-time All-Pro first-team return man, two-time All-Pro second team, is either led or tied for the league league in kick return touchdowns six times. He is nine in his career, it's just an absurd amount. And it's an absurd amount because it's the all-time lead. No one has ever had nine before Cordero Patterson. Josh Cribbs, Leon Washington, both with eight. Obviously incredible players. Devin Hester has five. One in the Super Bowl, though, which is not being counted here. And 
of course, was a punt return monster. Devin Hester has many punt return touchdowns. 14 all-time for Devin Hester in punt return touchdowns. Eric Metcalf just under him on that list. Hook him, of course. Dude, the drops are going crazy now. You know, I mentioned that earlier, and as soon as I said something, the Jets have just completely stopped catching anything. A away team can hot route faster is currently our uh, our momentum bonus here. Don't really care too much about that. And Garrett Wilson's wide open. Kind of expected a broken tackle in that spot. Again, Okuda's played such a great game. You can still be a shutdown corner and allow some catches, right? And I'm, I'm really happy with the way he's played today. He wasn't even supposed to be covering that either. That was just maybe Aaron Rodgers finding the spot in the zone to attack. So, good on him. Of course, he's going to do that. He's an elite franchise MVP level quarterback. He's only won the MVP award, what, four times? Doesn't get much here, though. Troy Anderson all over Garrett Wilson. That's a benefit of zone defense. We're going to go back to man here. We're going to press, we're going to pass commit, and we're going to send Caden Ellis one-on-one -on -one against AVT. Use your speed. And he beat him. But guess what? Clark Phillips beat down the field. It's Alan Lazard. Okay. To run, we haven't seen many of these, and maybe for good reason, Caden Ellis completely shuts down Dalvin Cook. Rogers checking his watch. He's like, is this game still going on? Yeah, you're down by 10, buddy. Try to figure it out. The Falcons' defense is unbelievable at the moment. Rodgers can't figure it out. Give me famous last words. Mike, please cover Corey Davis. Oh, look at that defense. Mike Hughes. Second time he's made a really nice effort in coverage this game. And I'm going to count the Garrett Wilson touchdown because I, I thought his coverage was really tight on that. Just didn't end up making that tackle. And, of course, allowed the catch but makes an even better play this time around, obviously. Holds the Jets to a field goal. They bring it back to a touchdown. But with the way we've been able to run the ball on them today, with Bijan Robinson on outside runs, even Cordero Patterson, obviously, with that long touchdown, I think if we run the ball for the rest of this game, I would find it hard to believe that we're going to lose this one. We're not running at the heart of their defense, which is that defensive line. We're trying to get to the outside, get to those linebackers, which is mainly just former safeties. That's the way the Jets have built their linebacking core is, you know what, Jamie and Sherwood played safety at Auburn. Get him in there at linebacker. Hampson to Cyril Dean, safety at Florida State. Get him in there at linebacker. Quincy Williams, I don't know that he was ever a safety, but I don't think he's especially big. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that. We're going five wide here, just as I talked about wanting to run the football. That's a quick pass. It's basically a run. A pass is just a run where the ball is in the air for a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, I can't really get anything going out of that. Don't worry about that. Second and four. B. John Robinson, get away! Dane Crookshank is the bane of my existence. He's the Dane of my existence today. Third and six. Who wants to get open? Kyle Pitts, get it to him! Ritter doesn't miss him this time! Kyle Pitts! One-on-one, -on -one, make him miss, and he's forced out of bounds. Kyle Pitts absolutely wide open. I would say, how can you leave this guy open like this? But you know what? We haven't thrown him the ball too much today. And the one other time that we had him clear and open down the field, Ritter just missed him. So maybe they didn't respect the arm at all. They wanted to play underneath. Guess what? Comes back to bite him. Massive play down the field as Pitts is over 80 yards. And they're bringing the DBs over to defend Drake London. We're going to run to that opposite side. Try to get a block. Bijan caught from behind. Second and seven. Drake London back in the end zone. Touchdown. Finally. He hasn't scored in a while, I feel like. And we've been crushing it with Drake London touchdowns this year. He's had so many. And add that one to the list. Drake London just ran right up the seam. Not really a whole ton of coverage on him. I thought they were going to maybe pass that route off to a safety or something, but no one really came over to defend it. So it was just, hey, Drake London, run straight to the back of the end zone. We'll hit you in stride for six. Now it's 24-10. It's a great drive. Didn't really eat into a, a lot of that clock. 
Only two minutes and 18 seconds, but you know what? We're gonna take the points where we can get them. Oh my goodness, Rogers throwing a Caden Ellis! I don't know how when the ball was about to be, you know, at the catch point there, it gets Caden Ellis out of position when I'm running along the, you know, doing the same thing that I'm always doing. A little bit frustrating there. Just playing great coverage and not really, how we let we gave him the cutback lane. Yeah, it's my fault. Don't worry about anything I was gonna say. Before that, doesn't really matter. Okay, that's gonna be the same way that Kyle Pitts just burned them down the field. I think they ran the same exact play on their end, same idea at least, and Tyler Conklin picks up a fresh set of downs, his fourth catch of the game. He's over 40. I'm trying to defend the run here. And we've done a good job most of the game against Alvin Cook, but only five attempts. He's just not really running the ball that much. They're not really throwing it that much either. Have they had any time of possession? How do they only have 10 points? I guess 34 attempts is a decent amount. Rodgers is not really completing too many of them. Obviously, have dealt with some drops from the Jets as well. Add that to the list. That's good defense, though. That's good coverage. You know, pressing and playing man coverage has been a godsend for us. We're going to try just pressing and playing zone here. Looks like they might be running the ball on second and 10. That's exactly what they're doing. Ogan Deji's there, makes a tackle. Third and seven, last play of the third quarter. Get outside, Okuda with another deflection. Corey Davis, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth and seven for the Jets. And they probably just have to put up a field goal here. What would I do if I were in this spot? Starting the fourth quarter, fourth and seven, I think I probably would just take the points. Just, you know, try to get a little victory on that drive. But what should they do? We got Aaron Rodgers. It's just it's just tough with 10 minutes, right? With 10 minutes to go, would you go for that? Try to make it, you know, a one possession game. Still a two possession game. You're, you know, you're kind of counting on your defense, which hasn't really showed up today. I don't know. I, I, again, I think that's a tough call. We're going to run the ball here. Straight up the gut. Bijan. Let's say he lost a yard. Was it second and one? How did we possibly lose a yard on that? I disagree. Get Tyler Algier in there. Short yardage. Running behind Kyle Pitts. See what happens. Oh, we got a block. No, we didn't. It completely went away. How is that not a first down? I felt like that was absolutely wide open. And we just couldn't get it somehow. I mean, oh, because because Chris Lindstrom didn't pick up the next block. It's not, I'm not saying that's his fault. It was obviously like Bergeron did nothing, but I just see this open area. I go, how do we not get this to get that to the 30? I mean, it's insane. If we were on the 45 yard line, you know what? Maybe I don't punt here, but we've got a lead. I hate to give the Jets a chance to get back in this game, but I'm not going to go for it on fourth and inches and let an offense that has not performed all that well today. Just get a chance to go 30 yards uh, down the field and that's it we're gonna try and switch sides of the field here and if they can mount together a 75 yard drive you know power to them but we're gonna say they can't oh it's a pitch right we got to get to the outside okuda slows down dalvin cook at least but dalvin cook is still going maybe they should give him the ball more working off play action throwing it to the flat Ogan Deji's been on the field a lot today. Second and four, six minutes to play. I like how much time's going off the clock. That was left wide open. Partially on me, for sure. Just too many receivers to cover. You know, when they, they run mesh or whatever and just have so many routes going over the middle of the field and we're in his own defense, we're going to be in trouble. That's just kind of how that goes. Here's a pitch right. Troy Anderson trying to get to the outside. Not fast enough. Juke back inside. First time seeing Brees Hall today. 19-yard pickup for him. Maybe they should use him more. The Jets, man, they've been so bad today. Again, I'm not complaining about it, but it is true. It's going to be a QB draw. Jalen Hawkins can't catch up to Aaron Rodgers? What do you mean? Aaron Rodgers calls his own number 
the Jets run QB draw, and Aaron Rodgers outruns a safety. I, I don't even believe what I just saw. Two-point conversion attempt now for the Jets. Trying to make this a three-point game. They can't do it. ABT injured on the two-point attempt. And we just got to burn some clock. Jets going to need a touchdown. What does a field goal do for us? 27-19. I know that'd be eight points. I would probably just prefer to try to go for a touchdown or a fourth down conversion if it comes to it. We're going for the kill here. We gotta, we're gotta. we looking at a win. Do not really want to give the ball back to Aaron Rodgers. Bijan, ton of space. What an open field tackle. Oh, I thought that was going to be a massive gain. Second and eight, more Bijan. Um, wasn't blocked exactly how I would have preferred. And it's third and six. We just run the ball here, go four down territory. Like we're on like the 36 yard line. On fourth and somewhat short. I don't know if I like that. How do I take so many delay games, dude? It's, uh, <laughs> it's unreal. More space to throw the ball. That's what we have. Drake London, first down. Totally planned. Strategic delay of game. Jono Smith in motion. We're running power. Bijan still on his feet. Oh my goodness. Could never really get going there. A lot of stumbling. Two minute warning. We're up 24 to 19. Looking just a couple of minutes away here from another win. Jets going to need to do what they haven't been able to do the entire game, which is stop Bijan Robinson. We're going to continue to feed him. One on one. Bijan to the outside. Ankles broken. Bijan stay in bounds. Timeout, Jets. Bijan is maybe the most fun I've had using a running back in any franchise series. He's just so good. Look at the change of direction ability. Oh, no. Couldn't show it off there. Second and 11. Oh. What is Sauce Gardner doing coming up and making a play? That's annoying. That was the Jets' final timeout. I think we will just run the ball. Ah, shoot. We're going to take it down to about a minute here. If we kick the field goal, it's an eight-point game. We can't lose in regulation. But the Jets could score a touchdown in a minute, even with no timeouts, and get a two-point conversion to tie. We're going to run the ball. We're going to run the ball. I, it was completely shut down. I mean, I knew it was going to be. They're just in the zone right now. John Flank, uh, Franklin Myers, the big play. going to be a 50-yard attempt from Young Way Koo. I think that's the right call. Kick is up and good. Had no trouble taking a delay game there. I got distracted. Got distracted thinking about my game plan. And uh, I just didn't call a timeout. I got the kickoff too late. But 55 yards, I knew it wasn't going to be too much of a problem. Burns an extra second off the clock, which we'll take. One minute exactly. Gets have no timeouts. Down by eight. If we end up losing this game, it will be one of my worst losses ever, probably. But uh, I wouldn't put it past the Jets. We got to go zone defense here and just keep them in front of us. This is a perfect play. Oh, yeah. Seven seconds off the clock and then a throwaway. Starting center Joe Tipman is injured. Take that. And we're just going to pass commit the rest of the game. It's a... Uh, you know, we think you can't score in time. Brady Jarrett nearly with the unbelievable move. <laughs> the fake get thrown to the ground. Step up, sack Aaron Rodgers. Doesn't exactly complete it. But very close. Third and ten. Get everybody back. Pass commit. The Jets can't move the ball. They're really struggling. Rodgers just chucks it out of bounds again. I mean, this has been a bizarre game. You guys saw the sliders at the start. I have not changed anything. Aaron Rodgers, the first drive, was just the best quarterback on the planet. And then the entire rest of the game, it feels like, has been just atrocious. Big fourth down conversion for them there. 
And it's not just Aaron Rodgers, right? They've had a ton of drops offensively as well. But, I mean, he's had a lot of just bad throws or, or random throwaways. I don't know what the logic is, but he's throwing it away like every other drop back. I've never seen anything like this. It's, uh, it's completely insane. It's completely insane. Just wrap up. 25 seconds remain. That's only a six second runoff to get back and lined up. Okay. Going to the outside. Keep them in bounds. They might have one play. I would probably spike it and then they don't even have time to do that. Can't get another snap off. And that is the ball game. Super weird one. Super weird. We are back to 500 at 6-6. Six and six. I thought this game was going to be more of a challenge. But even though it ended up being somewhat close, this game was not a challenge at all. Not at all. I don't know. We just... We just did enough. I mean, I I really think they just shot themselves in the foot. Shout out Plaxico. But Rodgers with so many throwaways. The Jets with so many drops. Two drops for Davis. Conklin. Wilson. Lazard had one. Dalvin Cook had one. We had a couple of drops ourselves. But I mean, just a super, super weird game. That's all I have to say about that. Ritter only completes 12 passes, but only 23 attempts. Goes for over 200. Has a touchdown, no picks. Rushing, Bijan, 21 attempts for 126 yards and a touchdown. Broke eight tackles. Three rushes of 20 yards or more. Patterson had an awesome play as well. Three rushes for 41 yards for him. Aaron Rodgers, I still can't believe that one. Algier got a, a yard. <laughs> Ritter with 17. And then... For us receiving, Kyle Pitts had 81 yards. London had 63 and a touchdown. But yeah, we only completed so many passes. So would have been tough to really accumulate a lot uh, on offense. And then defensively, I guess our coverage was great. Tackle for loss for Anderson and Ellis. A sack for Caden Ellis. And then no picks, but three pass deflections for Jeff Okuda. Not really looking like a bust anymore. That was a great game from him. Well, we allowed two or less passing touchdowns. And we were so close to our staff goal of 400 plus offensive yards. Young Wei Koo with an upgrade. Banged a couple field goals in there. And we need to increase that power. That is evident. And we get neither. We get awareness and accuracy. 95 kick power. I think that kick is good earlier that hit the crossbar. But we are 6-6. Six and six. Really nice to see. And hey, reporters, like, hey, Coach Dangus, you're the best coach of all time. Uh, how are you so amazing at carrying this team to victory? And that's actually a good question. And the answer is because uh, I was born this way. Natural talent, ability, uh, things you wouldn't know anything about. Just an innate mind for the game. And our entire offensive line gets 4,500 XP. You're telling me it could have been more if we had 200 plus? I guess it would have been scaled like that, right? How many did we have? 185. Okay, so we were close-ish. but We had 193 yards passing, so it's tough. But as you'll see from the schedule here, that was our third win in a row. So we're cruising right now. Panthers could be tough again. Colts, Bears, Saints to end the year. This was kind of an easy schedule. We're not really playing a lot of the league's top teams. Like, out of these teams, who is a guaranteed playoff team? In real life, I'm saying. Not the Panthers, not the Packers. The Lions are not... These two teams are not guaranteed. They could make it in. The Lions are not guaranteed to be in there. The NFC North is somewhat close. And I wouldn't say the Vikings are guaranteed to be in there any either. I'm saying, like, the upper echelon of teams that they're going to be in the playoffs for sure. Some teams are going to be close, could definitely be in, but I wouldn't say the Lions without a doubt. I would not say the Jags without a doubt, even if I you know, expect them to win the division. I don't think it's a guarantee, but they might be the closest so far, to be honest. Texans, not a guarantee. Commanders, no. Bucks, no. Titans, no. Vikings, I still would say not a guarantee. Cardinals, definitely not. Saints, no. Jets, that might be the closest team we face to a team I really expect to be in the playoffs. But I don't know. The AFC East could be tough. 
the best team we might play all year might be that Jets team, to be honest. This is a really easy schedule. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Six and six. We are back officially to 500. As are the Bucks, as are the Saints. Everyone six and six. Okay. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take it easy.